Good morning, my children, and welcome back to your English class. The class of the teacher Jacob, as always, prepared specially just for you. Now, for today, we're going to continue with the review about the color purple. Remember, this topic, this color, we already discussed it on yesterday's video, but it's important to remember the objects that we associate with this color. Recuerden chicos que el día de ayer nosotros empezamos a trabajar ya con el color purple. El día de hoy vamos a hacer un repaso de este color y aparte vamos a ver el vocabulario que también platicamos el día de ayer. Esto es importante chicos porque recuerden que necesitamos trabajar constantemente con todos los objetos que vemos en nuestro telebook para que de esa forma no se nos olvide. Esto también incluye lo que son numbers, porque recuerden chicos que también nosotros ya empezamos a trabajar con la numeración del 1 al 10. Hemos visto hasta el number 2, the duck. Quack, 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 quack. Now, today it's the last day of this color because tomorrow we start with the number 3. Hoy vamos a ver un último repaso a este color purple para que mañana nosotros empecemos a trabajar con el nuevo número que es el number 3. Now, as you can see here, behind the teacher Jacob, I have some of the most common objects that we can find with the color purple. Detrás del teachercito Jacob encontramos los objetos que, en, que tenemos con este color. Vamos a empezar with the grapes. Remember, grapes, it's part of the family of fruits. Grapes are circles that are, uh, that are pieced together, circle by circle by circle by circle, and they are very small. Remember the word grapes in Spanish, uvas. Recuerden que las uvas pertenecen a la familia de las frutas. Las uvas son círculos que están unidos uno detrás del otro y a veces encima del otro. Estos círculos, recuerden, también son pequeñitos. In the case of the grapes, we have two colors. Here in Mexico, we have the color green, which is the most common color for the grapes in the United States, where they speak, where they speak English, the most common color of the grapes is color purple. Recuerden, chicos, que tenemos dos tipos de colores para las uvas. Aquí en México, en la uva de color verde es la más popular. En Estados Unidos, donde hablan inglés, ahí el color morado es el color favorito para las uvas. ¿Ok? Now, next to the grapes, we have an animal of the sea. Tenemos un animal del mar, que también ya lo platicamos el día de ayer, the octopus. The animal that has eight different arms. El animal marino que tiene varios, varios brazos. And finally, also, we can have candies that are color purple. También en el lado de los dulces, recuerden que los dulces tenemos diferentes tipos de colores. Uno de estos colores puede ser el de color purple. Si tenemos un dulce que es de color purple, ¿de qué sabor ustedes creen que sea? If the candy is color purple, that means that the flavor, su sabor, the flavor is grape. Su sabor puede, lo más probable es de que sea de uva. ¿Ok? So... Uh, today I brought several objects with different colors. Let's make an activity to recognize the color purple. Remember, I'm going to show you two objects. You will have to tell me which one of these two is color purple. Para el día de hoy, aparte de repasar los objetos que vimos el día de ayer, vamos a hacer una actividad en donde yo les voy a mostrar dos objetos y ustedes tendrán que decirme cuáles de esos dos es de color purple. Let's begin with pink cloth. Now the word pink cloth in Spanish, pinzas. These are called pink cloth. Now, which one of these two, cuáles de estas dos is color purple? The one on the right, very good. 
The one that I'm holding, it's color purple. La que estoy sosteniendo del lado derecho, color purple. Now, let's practice with our favorite dices. Remember, the word dice in Spanish, dado. Once again, I'm holding two dices, different colors. Which one of these two is color green? Color purple, sorry. ¿Cuál de estos dos es color purple? I'm sorry, teacher Jacob made a mistake. Color purple. This one, very good. This one, color purple. Let's continue with tops. The word top in Spanish, una pirinola. We have two tops, once again, using different colors. The teacher only wants you to recognize the one that is purple. Where is it? This one, very good. The one that I have on the right hand, color purple. Now, let's practice with some books. Remember the word book in Spanish, libro. I have two books right here. Which one of these two is color purple? The one that I have right here? Very good, excellent, color purple. And finally, markers. The markers are the school objects that the teacher uses to work on the whiteboard. Recuerden que los plumones son los materiales escolares que el teachercito Jacob ocupa para pintar el pizarrón. Which one of these two, cuál es de estos dos, is color purple? The one on the right, very good. Color purple. Excellent. So, we don't have any problems, we don't have any questions with this new color. Now, the activity of today, my children, remember, once again, it's part of your teddy book and it's located right here. As you can see here, we have a blank page. In this blank page, using crayon color purple, we're going to paint it all of it. Tenemos una página en blanco. Utilizando nuestro color purple, vamos a pintar toda la hoja sin dejar espacios en blanco, sin hacer rayones, bien coloreado. All of it using color purple. Now, important part here. While you are painting, mientras nosotros estamos coloreando, don't forget to repeat the name of it. No se les olvide repetir el nombre del color mientras coloreamos la página. Color purple, color purple, color purple. Remember, we have two ways to paint. We can paint up and down, up and down, or side by side, side by side. Recuerden que tenemos dos formas para colorear, arriba y abajo, o de lado a lado. Both of them are correct. Ambas están correctas. Once we have finished with this page, with the help of mother, father, or an adult using a magazine, we will cut objects that are color purple and paint them, paste them, sorry, paste them on all of the page. Con la ayuda de mamá, de papá o de un adulto, utilizando una revista o periódico, vamos a recortar objetos que sean únicamente de color purple. Ya que los hayamos recortado, los vamos a pegar en toda la hoja. Ok? Very good. Now, once we have finished with this page, we change it, cambiamos página, and we continue with the graves. 
continuamos con las uvas. Now, for the grapes, remember, using paint or watercolors, we're going to paint all of the objects. Utilizando pintura o acuarela, color purple, vamos a colorear el objeto que tenemos aquí, which are grapes. If you don't have paint, if you don't have watercolors, you can use your crayons. Remember, what it matters the most is that you recognize the object and not the material that you are using. Recuerden chicos que si ustedes no tienen pintura o acuarelas, pueden utilizar sus crayolas para completar esta imagen. Lo que le importa al teachercito Jacob es que recuerden qué objeto es y el color, no el material con el que se está trabajando. ¿Ok? Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. Once again, the teacher Jacob is extremely happy with all your hard work. El teachercito Jacob está muy feliz de todo el trabajo que siguen eh, realizando. Recuerden esforzarse todos los días. Recuerden echarle muchas ganas, trabajos bien hechos. Nos vemos el día de mañana. We we'll see you tomorrow with more videos, with more information, with more fun with the teacher Jacob. Have an excellent afternoon. Take care. Goodbye.